Hey everyone, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day out. I just want to let you know before you watch today's video, which I shot yesterday. Today is Sunday, May the 24th, and the Ontario government has now just announced 460 new cases of COVID-19, along with 25 more deaths. And also keep in mind, just south of the border, they just tipped a very grim milestone, 100,000 deaths. You're not from Niagara, are you? No. no one Dear Niagara Parks, it's come to my attention that you have people pissing and shitting in various places in the Niagara Falls area. Hey everyone, welcome to uh, another Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. This is a This is Niagara COVID-19 update. And today we're going to take a tour into Niagara Falls to see how busy it is with all the tourists that are around. It is Memorial Day weekend in the States and uh, I'm expecting quite a few people to be around. I was out and about yesterday. I did see a few uh, American cars, but not too many. Uh, we'll check out the border later on, see how things are down there. Uh, but uh, we'll have a drive round. We'll start off at uh, through Chippewa. We'll start off at Kingsbridge Park, drive into Niagara Falls, Clifton Hill, and then uh, make our way down to Fort Erie, see what the border's like, and so on. All right, today is May the 23rd, and the Ontario government has now announced uh, 412 new cases of COVID-19, uh, which is down from yesterday's 441, and the day before that was 413, I believe. Uh, so a little bit of a roller coaster, and still an upward trend uh, from what we've had over the previous uh, week or so, uh, which is quite concerning, since we're opening everything up, and that is one of the reasons why I'm going to Niagara Falls today uh, to have a look. And see how busy it is. Uh, I, I, get, I get that we have to open the economy. There's no problem with that. Uh, we, we, we practice our physical distancing and so on. And if you need to, wear a mask and things like that. But are we opening up too quick? And have we sent out the wrong signals? Because yesterday I was driving around uh, Niagara Falls and I noticed quite a few souvenir shops were opening up. And I thought at first they weren't meant to. Then I realized, no, they're just a storefront. Uh, they have store they have road access front of the street so they can open i guess so uh, i want to see how busy it is today being saturday in niagara falls and uh, we'll see how many tourists have come down uh, my mind my main concern for the niagara region is the amount of tourists that come in i think over the uh, past few months we've got away with things quite lightly down here in niagara falls because not many tourists have been coming down the lockdown has worked to a certain extent and that's why our figures are quite low so anyway, speaking of figures, I'm going to show you some figures uh, for our local region as we make our way into Niagara Falls. So uh, here are your figures for Niagara Falls. Niagara Region is reporting on May 23rd, 627 confirmed cases, 95 active cases and 474 resolved with unfortunately 58 deaths. Three new cases reported in the last 24 hours and the municipality of Welland has the highest outbreak in our region. 51% of the uh, cases so far are from the general public and 49% are healthcare outbreaks. A link to the website will be placed in the description below. Wow, as you can see, there's a lot of people down here in Niagara Falls. A lot. A real lot of people. There's one washroom open. Public washroom just open over there. It's busy. So, and I can tell you right now, 99% of these people that are walking around here are not from the Niagara region. I can certainly assure you 99% of these are from out of town, from out of the region, have come out for a day out. And guess what? Guess where 
the highest cases of COVID-19 are, the greater Toronto area. So some of these people could be asymptomatic, could be bringing it down, touch a few things, cough on a few people and so on. And uh, next thing you know, more people have it. So it'll be interesting to see uh, two weeks from now, if we get a spike. All right, of course, the second most popular place in Niagara Falls after the falls itself would be this place, Clifton Hill. Now, I'm guessing all the attractions on Clifton Hill are closed, but when I drove around yesterday, there was quite a few gift shops open, uh, souvenirs. Uh, so let's have a look. This place is open on the right. Starbucks, ice cream, gifts, winery. Now I gotta listen to that shit music in that green car again. It's got a really shit sound system for a good car. All right, there's no signs outside this shop saying about social distancing. It's self-governing, this social distancing. Self-governing, that means people can do whatever they want. And you're held accountable yourself. But as we all know, as a human race, we're a little stupid at times. All right, there you have it, uh, Niagara Falls, May 23rd. It's a beautiful day, lots of people out and about, and we have to take into consideration, last week alone, over 2,000 people became infected with COVID-19, over 2,000 people for Ontario, and the vast majority of those people came from the GTA. Guess where the vast majority of these people have come from today? But I just wish people uh, from the Toronto or Richmond Hill or wherever. Stay in your own backyard for now, please. That's all we ask. <laughs> There's a lot of people going to the bushes up there for a piss. Hopefully not a poo. Uh, the truck behind me, all four of them went in there. Now they just got back in the truck and now they're heading out. This is one of the problems with the closure of most places, there's nowhere for people to go. And people don't think of that. You, you come all the way from Toronto, Mississauga, where are you gonna go for a piss and a poo? Most Tim Hortons restaurants are still closed. And you can't access many buildings. People aren't thinking this through very well, are they? Richmond Hill. That's Toronto. Toronto. You're filming my license plate. See where you're from, you're not from Niagara, are you? No. No, we're not. No, why aren't you staying in your own region then? I got family, I'm visiting my family. Oh, okay. My family oh, okay. That's nice to know. Visiting family, okay. He's from Ingersoll. Oh, visiting family with my bicycles. Summer is just around the corner. And it's hard to believe that we've been now in this situation for, what, nearly four months? January the 25th, the first presumptive case of a man traveling back from Wuhan was confirmed. Also the first in Canada. On January the 31st, a third confirmed case of COVID-19 has come to light. March 11th, the first death has now been confirmed in the province of Ontario. March 12th, 59 confirmed cases, one death. Premier Doug Ford announces all public schools are to close at the end of that work week. Originally for two weeks, it's now been extended till September. 
March 17th, the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, announces a state of emergency with closures of all public places and establishments. By April 8th, we're now at 5,276 cases and 174 deaths. 20 days later, on April the 28th, those numbers rise staggeringly to 15,728 cases and 996 deaths. May the 1st, the government announces stage one of reopening Ontario, which will include some seasonal businesses, which was a move that confused many, many people and wanted more restrictions lifted, including that from boat launches, golf courses, and many other recreational places. May 9th, garden centers, nurseries, and hardware stores can now open. On May 11th, provisional parks are set to reopen, which will allow residents to walk, hike, cycle, but will not be able to camp or do any other activities. May 16th, golf courses, along with many other places, are now open for business. May 23rd, 10,000 people congregate in a park in Toronto. This is not going away. Not a freaking soul on the QEW. Border's still closed. Border's been closed now for an extra 30 days. And it's good to see no one is getting in still. It's quite reassuring actually because I did see quite a few US plates over the, the past few days. So I feel a bit more relaxed now seeing that no one's coming in. Oh, bit of action. This guy just got turned around. Go home! All right, I've been here for 10 minutes and two cars, uh, both cars turned around and sent back over to the United States. All right, so there you have it. This is Ford Erie. This is the QEW. There's no one on it. The border is really quiet. Niagara Falls is packed. That means everyone that's in Niagara Falls has come from north of where we are, made their way down. So there you have it. Someone just pipped the horn, and I'm sure they're going to say like, on the video, hey, that was me. So whoever just pipped the horn, hi. All right, that's it. I'm going to go home and edit this video. Uh, my name is B. Nigel Hay. This is B. Nigel's Chief Vlogs, and this has been This Is Niagara COVID-19 Update.